Hello and welcome to this episode of the DJ Podcast. My name is Peter Morgan, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the new features in version 2 of Serato Scratch Live. Now, the first thing that you'll see is that the UI, or the graphical interface, looks different. You know, the buttons are shaped a little differently. They're basically, mostly everything is in the same place, but there are a few different changes. So, the first thing is that there are four different wave form views now. You can have the really small view and sort of a large library window. You can have the standard two vertical, standard two horizontal, or you can have the stacked view which will allow you to see both of the waveforms on top of each other. The other thing is that you can now view the library in four different ways. So this is the way that you're normally used to looking at it. You can also have a sort of hor uh, vertical, sorry, um, album art view. You can have sort of this view here with the album art. And finally, you can have this view as well. So four different ways to view your library. I actually quite like this one. I think I think this one has some potential. All right, so the next thing that that we have is the addition of plugins. So if you go into the setup and you go to the plugins tab, you can see that there are now four different plugins here. We've got the sample player, which you're probably used to, the DJ effects, which I'll talk about a little later, the SL3 aux deck. Now, if you have a Rain SL3, you can actually use three decks in Serato. And we have playlists. Now, playlists allow you to export your history, so your the tracks that you play during your set to serato.com and you can share those playlists out with other DJs automatically, which is pretty cool. Watch for a future video tutorial on that. Now one thing I did mention was the new addition of the DJ Effects plugin. If you open that up, you can see this is the, the first view here. We have three effects on this side, three effects on this side, and you can essentially you know say which deck you want the effects to go to. So you could have three effects to a deck or even six effects to a deck. And if you want to change the values or the parameters here, you can click this button. And this allows you to change all of the parameters for the specific effects. So if, for example, you want the resonance and the depth on this high pass filter to be linked together, you can click the chain. Now when you move this, you'll see that both the resonance and the depth move. And there's a few different effects. There's a breaker, crusher, delay, echo, sort of the standard ones, plus reverb, repeater, and reverse, which is so pretty cool stuff. And if you actually want to go in and customize that, you can click the edit button, and you see that now you have even more customization. You can actually save these presets and send them to your friends, which will be covered later. All right, so let's get out of that. And the next thing that's really really awesome is the ability now to have smart crates. You can see down here we have the normal crate icon. Then we have this blue crate and if you click on that this window will pop up and you can add rules so that you only see a certain type of track or a certain a track with a certain comment for example. So if we added a rule and we wanted to say okay let's have the artist right Let's say the artist is, and then let's say it is, for example, a tritonal. All right, we click save. And now if we go to this crate, only the tracks where the artist is tritonal will show up. As you can see, I already have one crate here, and this is for all my tracks that are the 8A key. So, I mean, really, really handy stuff especially if you like to organize your tracks by the date in which you add them, you can just automatically create a smart crate and every time you add a new track, it'll go into the respected crate. And that's it for the basic new features of SSL V2. Now if you have the TTM57 or the Rain SL3, you do have a couple other options like the aux deck for example and also the ability to record your mix right into Scratch Live. That's it for this video tutorial on the DJpodcast.com. Make sure to become a fan at facebook.com slash the DJ Podcast. Thanks for watching.